Dewey, educational reformer. The way uh, Mr. Dewey saw the situation, education and learning are social interactive processes. The school and the institution um, is where they deliver the, 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 uh, the facts that they need to know, but it's also a place for social reform to take place. He wants uh, learners to thrive in an environment where, where they experience and interact with the cu curriculum. They kind of have, they have a say in what their learning is going to be about. Um, education is not just a place to learn the content, um, it's a place to, lear to learn how to live, how to be as human beings. Um, he wants to strike a balance between learning, um, uh, between set knowledge, and taking the learner's experience, their own experience with life, on board as well. And he sees teachers as facilitators, as guides, not just people that deliver content and facts. Okay, so yeah, I think originally we sided with the uh, with the French perspective, on it. but uh, after a while they, they got a little bit too violent uh, for, our, for our tastes. Is it an ultra enough. enough. <laughs> so um, we're, we're bringing it all back to the student, the individual. Uh, we want to tailor education to the individual uh, and help them uh, to achieve their potential. We're not going to measure that uh, in particular, we're just going to see how far they get and do our best uh, to see them there. Um. There's no, uh, it's snobby academia and there's more choice and more chance to go down different routes. Uh, why do we not like other people? <laughs> Men only for some of them. Not like that. It's very inclusive. A very inclusive practice, uh, unlike uh, Plato. We also feel that we're going to learn not just from the teacher, but we're going to be learning from the people around us. So we're learning from our peers. And so, not just you as a teacher, a facilitator is the person that's going to be teaching and imparting knowledge and principles and values. But it's also that the discussions, the group work that's going on in our kind of curriculum planning that we're going to go right back to the GOT scheme where we're thinking about the social constructivist and we're thinking about the point of view of social learning and peer learning as being um, key. Great, well have you got anything else that you want to do? It's really short if you've got